Welcome to Storytime with Annie. I'm going to read the book named The Ant and the Grasshopper. Real classic. There was once a very lazy grasshopper named Gaia. At the very first hint of spring, when the ground had scarcely thawed and the buds on the trees had barely blossomed, Gail spent her days longing in the sweet grass and singing to her heart's content. Unlike Gail, her neighbor, Mimi, the ant, was very hardworking. As soon as the cold winter months were behind them, Mimi wasted no time preparing her home and collecting provisions for the upcoming winter. Every day, Gail watched Mimi buzzle, busily buzzle about. Not a moment was wasted, and there seemed to be no end to Mimi's hard work. Gail felt tired just watching her. She didn't understand why Mimi spent all her time preparing for the winter to come when each day was filled with beautiful warm sunny weather. After all, summer was only about three months and every moment should be enjoyed. One day, Gail invited Mimi to come and sing along with her. I don't have time for that, replied Mimi. I have chores to finish before the next winter arrives. Why worry about all that now? Summer has just only begun, said Gail. You would be thinking that when the cold weather returns, retorted Mimi. And with that, Mimi returned to her chores. Gail paid no attention. Mimi worked way too hard and was no fun at all. She probably didn't even know how to have fun. One day, she's going to wake up and say that life has passed her by, thought Gail. That night, Gail went home and continued to sing. She sang so loudly that Mimi couldn't sleep. That pesky grasshopper is going to regret that. All that singing, Mimi grumbled to herself as she hid her head under her pillow. The days passed. Summer was now coming to an end, and the grasshopper hadn't collected any provisions. One morning, Gail finally decided to collect a few fresh leaves. Along the way, she ran into Mimi, who was collecting fruit in her wheelbarrow. Mimi looked very tired. Why, Mimi? said Gail. You look totally exhausted. I think you've worked way too hard. Ha! huffed Mimi. If I look tired, it's because my grasshopper near very ruined my sleep every night through terrible, loud singing. Then Mimi picked up the handles of her wheelbarrow and continued on her way. She's probably working too hard. Gail shrugged her shoulders and continued to collect the leaves. Soon, her stomach started to grumble. She looked at the harvest and her mouth watered. I should eat some of this right now while it's fresh, she decided. If I run out, I can easily collect more tomorrow, not at the winter. With that, Gail hungrily wolfed down the leaves until there was nothing left. The next day, the sun shone so brightly that Gail decided to spend the day singing in the field instead of collecting leaves. Oh, do it tomorrow, she reasoned. Summer is coming to an end, but I still have lots of time. Not lots of time, said she. Each day that passed was a bit cooler than the day before, and Gail still hadn't collected any provisions. The trees had almost lost all their leaves. Winter wasn't far off now. That's why. Mimi, who had finished harvesting her provisions and preparing for the cold winter months, peered out her cottage window and saw her neighbor singing away. What a pest, thought Mimi. You better not count on me for any shirt you this winter. Really, that's true. One morning, Gail 
awoke, shivering, covered in a blanket of snow. She sat up with the start. Oh no, she panicked. I think so much that I didn't notice the time, and now it's winter, and here and I have nothing to eat. The grasshopper trap, chai pies through the deep snow with difficulty. A harsh wind blew around her. She had trouble going anywhere. Suddenly, she spied a single leaf dangling from a tree branch. Just as she was about to reach the leaf, it was whisked away by a gust of wind. I am so hungry, she wailed. Desperate, Gail continued along her way in search of shelter. She soon came up to the ant's cottage. Arcanex, maybe told I need some food until spring, Gail thought. I'm sure she won't see now. Gail peered through Mimi's cottage window and saw Mimi and her family enjoying a hearty meal. The table was covered with most delicious looking feast. There were leaves galore. He's, oh, she's pretty hungry by looking at that. More hungrier than ever. Please, Mimi, bet please. The grasshopper knocked on the cottage door. She would give anything for a little piece of leaf. But Gail was so cold that she fainted and coughed on the doorstep. When Mimi answered the door, she found Gail in a heap of her doorstep. She hesitated for a moment. She got what she deserves, thought the end, but I still can't leave her out in the cold. With her family's help, Mimi brought Gail into the house and laid her in front of the fireplace to warm up. Soon Gail woke up and Aunt offered her a bowl of a hot soup to get her back on her feet. Please, Mimi, begged the grasshopper, don't send me out there. You were right. I was very wrong. I wasted my time foolishly all summer instead of harvesting provisions as I should have. Mimi looked at Gil and said in a very serious tone, only those who have worked hard deserve to share the harvest. Gil sadly and slowly made her way to the cottage door. You sing all summer, added the ant. Why don't you spend your winter dancing? Maybe that way you can entertain my family and I. And that will be your contribution. A smile spread across Gail's face. She thanked her neighbor and began to sing and dance right away. Mimi and her family joined in. Gail was very grateful for Mimi's kindness. She helped her despite the Fast, hopper, laziness, and lack of organization. Gail spent the winter entertaining the ants in their cottage. And then, once again, spring arrived. Gail joined Mimi in the meadows. In the meadows, she built her very own wheelbarrow with leaves and blades of grass, and set to work gathering provisions for the following winter. She had learned her lesson and the importance of planning ahead. After all, nothing was stopping her from singing while she worked. As for Mimi, the past winter with Gail had shown her value and importance of having fun. Don't think for a second that she didn't work as hard. In fact, she worked harder than ever. Every now and then she would pause and the ant and the grasshopper would sing their hearts out together. I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you. Bye.